Hey everybody, uh, YouTube land. Uh, thought I'd do a little short video of how I do my teeth for my face jugs and my eyes. I'm looking at possibly some different techniques uh, for my eyes. I don't quite like the way the ones that I use uh, look. They look pretty good, but uh, some face jug guys uh, do theirs. They do a little different. They make them and then they use some underglaze to color for the pupil and um, the green and so forth. So I'm going to move the camera and turn it down to my little board here that's got my stuff on it and show you what I'm doing. And this will give you a little, little idea. You'll see this uh, board with a bunch of stuff on it here. I uh, got a lot of porcelain. I make um, my teeth out of porcelain, uh, my eyes as well. The color, what I typically do is I got a mold that I use. Uh, here's one that's just made out of um, plaster. I put a little ball in it uh, and uh, put it in there, made a plaster mold, put my porcelain when it's wet in there, it comes out. Well, let's see, I think I got one that don't have anything on it. Yeah, it comes out like this. So it comes out. And then while it's still wet, I take porcelain that I've mixed with color, uh, green or blue or whatever, take a little small part, wet it, press it down into it, and then I do the black the same way and do it on top of it. And as you can see, with the uh, color, it has a, you know, a raised on it. I'd much rather for it to be round like this with the color on it more like a real eye is a little raise would be okay but uh, so i'm looking at getting some underglaze and coloring the the white afterwards and so, and so forth so if you got any any of you folks that may do face jugs any tips on that i would appreciate that you can put it in the comments and my teeth i do similar the same way i've got uh, took the same when I've got my eye in and I used uh, some tools and, and carved out uh, the, the indention of what a tooth should look like. Then I take some uh, porcelain put in it, take it out and let it dry. And then once it's dried, it looks like this. It has some edges on it. Uh, so what I just simply do is I break the edges off, most of it, and I take this little tool and I scrape the edges to make it more smooth to look like a tooth and it looks something like that so that looks like a tooth and then I'll put it up in the jug something that and I don't disfire these or do anything with them I just when I make my jug I wet them a little bit put them in there and it helps hold them but occasionally I do have some that will fall out. Um, so what I'm looking at and I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to try. I'm going to make a few teeth. I'm going to bisfire them first and then use them in my jugs when I make them. And the, what I'm thinking is a lot of the folk potters that use broken dishes, broken uh, china for their teeth is that once this is bisfired, it's going to shrink a little bit. And when I put it in the wet clay, that the clay will shrink more, and this won't shrink anymore, and so it'll hold it tighter. So I'm thinking that that might work a little bit better. It'll be a little bit more work as far as bis firing, but that's that's no big deal. That's not a problem. I'll just make me up a bunch and, and put them in a bowl or something and, and bisque them, and, and that'll work uh, for that. And as you see, as I have done these, I end up having leftover clay, got a little regular mixed in with it, and I just take that clay and recycle it, that uh, white porcelain, uh, and recycle it. And I use porcelain for it. Um, some people do use white stoneware clay, and that would work fine as well. But I find that the porcelain works pretty good uh, with that. So um, let me grab. I'm trying to think if I have a jug nearby. Hold on. Uh, 
um, here's one that I did that you can see how I did the teeth. I put, just pressed them in there. Uh, this is one that I've probably not going to bis fire uh, because it I did it a little when the jug itself was a little bit too dry. So as it was drying around the eyes, it cracked. So I'm going to probably um, uh, just take this apart and recycle it. Um, you know, I hate to, it looks pretty good other than that, but that just shows you as far as how I use it. Um, then when I, after I bis fire it, uh, y'all seen the other video, if you've not, there's a, I got a video where I wax the teeth and the eyes. Um, I put some clear glaze on them, then I wax them, and then I glaze the whole jug with whatever color glaze I want to, want to, um, want to glaze. So, um, turn my thing up here let's see okay so I hope that is helpful and will be able to help you a little bit a little quick video I'm trying to get back into hang of making videos and getting back down here I've turned a few pieces tonight and I'm gonna, tomorrow night I'll probably get down here and work on some some face jugs I've got a few made and I need to start working on them, putting them together and hopefully see if I can get me a kiln load up to fire uh, me a kiln load um, with, with that uh, on, on there. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. Um, uh, one thing too, let me take this video over here. I don't believe I showed you guys my Indian that I finished. And I've not forgot about the Confederate soldier. I've got the videos. I've just not had time to edit it and put it on YouTube. But here is the Indian. Um, my crow didn't turn out quite like I liked it. So I may end up just doing him uh, and selling him just like he is without the crow. He still looks pretty good, I think. So, so um, hope you enjoy that. And as you can see, here's a few other pieces and things I've got uh, around. Um, little ones I've, I've sold about all my larger face jugs got most of little small ones so well with that I'm gonna get back over here so I can get still and you can see me so with that uh, until next time hope you enjoy this video and keep playing in clay we'll see you later bye